It is common to see this kind of anti-Gaddafi graffiti splashed across walls around the rebel city of Benghazi. But according to the family and friends of Kais El Halali, who painted these revolutionary cartoons, his art cost him his life. Omar Muhammad Ali said it was on this road that his friend was killed. On the second day that Gaddafi's forces entered, they had a checkpoint here. He was sitting in the back seat of the car and then they were ambushed by unknown assailants. He was shot with a bullet through his neck and he was killed. He died last month, but his grieving family remained devastated and have spoken out demanding answers. Distraught mother Naima El Abedi is surrounded by photos of her son, even one taken after he had been hit. <laughs> My son painted. He expressed himself with a pen. Naturally, beat him, scrap with him, punish him. But killing him? Why? It's a sacrilege to kill. They can get it when. His death has not put off other street artists. In fact, it has spurred them on. Behind a door branded Martyr Kais El Halali's room, artists continue to create anti government posters at the Rebel Culture Ministry, surely hoping one day to display their art in a more democratic Libya. Ilsa Temple, The Associated Press.